What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, try let's get into some MLB picks and props for Monday, June 19th, slate of games. Check a look at that leaderboard. Start us off. Yes, I went 0-1 yesterday because I gave out the Los Angeles Dodgers on the money line versus the Giants. And the Dodgers, they lost this game by a score of 7-3. to But they had the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth inning. Uh, so that really played with my heart. And then J.D. Martinez flied out the right field and completely shattered it. So I went 0-1 on my game picks, but I know I'm going to sweep the board tomorrow. Yeah, I tried the Miami Marlins on the run line, minus 1.5 going up against the Washington Nationals. Patrick Corbin allowed 10 hits in this game before being pulled, and the Miami Marlins barely squeaked by, winning by two, as they got a lot of people on base, but they couldn't get a lot of people in. They did win 4-2. to two. They cash. We go 1-0 and on the day. We go 1-1 one one as a team. Let's sweep the board today, Trey. Start us off. Yes, I'm going to be attacking the Chicago Cubs at Pittsburgh Pirates game. These two teams came into the season with very much different expectations, and the Pirates, they came in with zero expectations. Meanwhile, the Cubs, they added a few big bats, and we're expected to win the NL Central. And the Pirates, they only are one and a half games above the Cubs in the NL Central standings. But the Pirates, they are two and eight over their last 10 games, while the Cubs, they're seven and three over their last 10 games. In Chicago, they also recently got Cody Bellinger back from the injured list. So that's giving them a big boost as well. So I'm going to take the Chicago Cubs at minus 120 on the money line. The Cubs are throwing out Drew Smiley in this game, and he's been decent for them this season in his 14 starts. He's turned that into a 6-4 and four record and with a 3.59 ERA, but his road ERA is a tick lower with a 3.07 road ERA. And the Pirates, they're throwing out a rookie in this game in Osvaldo Beto. And Beto, he's only started in one game so far in his MLB career, and it was last week against this same Cubs team. And he did pitch a great game then, though. He pitched in four innings, only allowing one run on four hits. But with Bellinger being back in the lineup and the Cubs seeing him for the second time in less than a week. And I just feel like the Cubs bats will come alive in this game and cash this money line bet for us. Chicago, they're the 13th ranked scoring offense. And while the Pirates, they are slowly moving their way down. They're currently the 20th scoring offense in baseball. So give me the Chicago Cubs on the money line versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, try like it for my MLB play today. I'm going to be looking at the Kansas City Royals going up against the Detroit Tigers. I was drawn to this game because I love watching mediocre sports, apparently. In my lifetime, my favorite team in baseball is the Kansas City Royals. They have only made the playoffs twice. It was back-to-back -back years, 2014-2015, where they went to the World Series twice and they won it in 2015. And every other year, they have missed the playoffs since I've been alive. So technically speaking, the Royals in the postseason have a 50% chance of winning the World Series every time they make it. I am drawn to these teams who aren't worth a damn, which is why I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. And I watch them every year, hopefully hoping that they will give me some sort of hope in the future. I'm going back to this game, though. I'm going to take the Kansas City Royals here on the money line, plus 125, and what will be an anomaly if they win this game. It will be an anomaly because Jordan Lyles will be on the mound, and he has not won a game this season, but sometimes streaks are meant to be broken. And Jordan Lyles' streak of 11 straight losses for the Kansas City Royals is going to end today against the Detroit Tigers. The Royals will be getting a favorable matchup going up against Reese Olsen, who was called up to be in the Detroit Tigers rotation earlier this month. In his three appearances this season, he's given up nine earned runs in 13 innings. And I'm going to go back to the Kansas City Royals, who have been hitting the ball a lot better as of late. The Royals have lost four of their last five games, but they have had scored a lot of runs, 22 runs in the last five games. They have scored four-plus runs in three of those five games. And I think if they get to four runs in this game, they could get the win. It is extremely hard to find a team that is worse at batting than the Kansas City Royals this season. And the Detroit Tigers this season are worse than the Royals, batting 228 as a team, which is 29th in the MLB. Look for the luckiest man alive, Jordan Lyles, who's getting paid millions and millions of dollars to finally give back to the Kansas City Royals, to finally give back to his team and community a victory on Monday night. The Royals' money line will be my play for tomorrow. Try to take a look at our player cross from yesterday. Start us off. Jeez, all right. Well, I'm, well I went 2-0 yesterday. I gave out Mike Trout over 8.5 fantasy score versus the Royals and Tanner Bybee over 2.5 earned runs allowed versus the Diamondbacks. Trout, he smashed the over with 26 fantasy points in this game. He went two for three in this game with a home run, a double, a walk, an RBI, and two runs scored. So he smashed the over there for us. And Bybee, he hit the over as well. He pitched in five innings in this game, and he gave up three runs on seven hits and three walks. So this felt great. Yesterday was a great day. I'm looking to keep the momentum going into today, though. Yeah, Trey failed us for the sweep. I went one and one. I had Brian De La Cruz over one and a half bases, and I also had Luke Weaver over two and a half earned runs going up against the Astros. 
Brian De La Cruz did not cast a bet, but watching the game, he had a lot of balls that could have gotten down. He had a line drive down the third base line, and Chavez just made a great play on the ball. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way as a hitter. But Luke Weaver was once again horrible for the Reds, giving up five earned runs on 10 hits in five innings against the Astros. He did catch that. So we take the one and one, and we'll move on to the night. Three and one on the team, not bad. Let's sweep the board tonight, though, Trey. Start us off. Yes, and I talked about this game earlier, and here is a player prop for this game. I'm going with Dansby Swanson over 7.5 fantasy score versus the Pirates. And Swanson, he's really enjoyed a nice last week of the season. Over his last seven games, he's batting 345 with 10 hits, one home run, four RBIs, and four runs scored. He also has two walks to boost up his fantasy score. And I expect him to keep the train moving in this game because of his pitching matchup. Pittsburgh, they're thrown out as Valdo Beto in this game. And Beto, he's only pitched in one game in his career, like I said, and it was against this Cubs team just five days ago. And in that game, Swanson smashed the over in his fantasy score where he went three for four with two RBIs in that game. But just against Beto, he went one for two with one RBI. And I expect nothing different in this game the second time around. And Swanson, he bats in the five hole for the Cubs, so he has a great chance of knocking some batters in this game to cash in some RBIs. So give me Dansby Swanson to go over seven and a half fantasy score versus the Pirates. Yeah, Trey, I like it for my batting prop tonight. I'm going to be looking at Salvador Perez, over one and a half bases going up against the Tigers. The Tigers are throwing out Olsen, who I talked about earlier, and I think Salvador Perez is in store for a great night against the young man. Olsen is coming off a five-hit, six-earned run game against the Atlanta Braves where he only went three innings pitched, and I expect that to continue for him today. On the season, Salvador Perez is hitting 268, and it's still considered one of the best hitting catchers in the MLB. Perez also has great numbers against the Tigers in his career, batting 279 with 158 hits in 154 games against the Tigers. He is averaging just a little bit over one hit per game against them. So look for Salvador Perez to continue his great career against the Tigers, and I'm going to go over one and a half bases for him as my first play. Trey? Yes, and my pitching prop, it's going to be Merrill Kelly under two and a half earned runs allowed versus the Brewers. Kelly, he's really enjoyed a great 2023 season for the Diamondbacks. He has pitched in 14 games so far and turned that into an 8-3 and three record with a 3.04 ERA. And he has cashed the under two and a half earned runs allowed in nine out of his 14 starts this season. And Kelly, he's already pitched in one game this season against the Brewers, and it was a six-inning game where he allowed three runs on only one hit and three walks. And that one hit was a home run. So he did walk two batters and then allow a home run. So he honestly pitched a pretty good game other than that home run because he pitched in six innings and only allowing one hit. And I expect a similar domination station game here for Kelly, except he will keep the walks down in this game versus the Brewers because Kelly, he has been dominant on the road all season long for the Diamondbacks. And he has turned his six road starts into a 5-0 and record with a 2.12 ERA. And Kelly, he's hit the under two and a half earned runs allowed in five out of his six road starts. And it will continue in this game versus the pitiful Brewers offense. So give me Merle Kelly to go under two and a half earned runs versus the Brewers. Yeah, Trey, I like it for my pitching prop tonight. I'm going to take Jordan Lyles, under two and a half earned runs going up against the Tigers. If you haven't noticed, this is my Royals theme night. As they take on the Tigers, I must be out of my mind taking a Jordan Lyles prop on the under because I usually give out his over every time we see him, but he is not going to get a better chance in this game to get a win for his team. He is also has a very good stats against the Tigers in his career, posting a 3.45 ERA, and he's only allowed two runs or less in three of the five starts against him in his career. The numbers for the Tigers' bats this season are dreadful. They are 29th in team batting average, 27th in overall hits on the year, and they continue to be dead last in runs scored this season. The time is now for Jordan Lyles to get a win on his record, take his under two and a half earned runs tonight against the Tigers as my last play of the night. All right, guys, that'll do it for our MLB player props and games picks for Monday, June 19th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.